There we go. Fix the store up stuff. Yeah. Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. <laughs> Start drawing a circle, I'm then stop. stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes. It's too damn hot to be. What's it called? She is <laughs> visibly sweating. <laughs> That's impressive. Is there no air con- Oh, Colorado doesn't do air conditioning. Take this call. Will you come and tell me the things about you? Living it up and the things you do. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Really? Oh, okay. What happened? Uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he. I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me, and I could have handled it a lot better than I did. You should talk to Grady about this. Well, I don't know if a fake radio psychic is who you need to be talking to right now. Yeah. No, you misunderstand. I don't want a reading. Anyway, he loves your show listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Just so he knows I hear him, and I love him. All right. I mean, I don't know if it'll make it better, but you should talk to him. It won't. You should talk to I don't know which one to pick. I don't know, man. Coming out is a big deal. And when someone you love doesn't react well, it can be devastating. I didn't know what to do. They don't prepare you for this in the parenting books. Okay, but do you hear how you're talking about it? Like something bad happened? Having a queer kid isn't a tragedy. Your son is learning to embrace who he is and wants to share that with you. I bet that's one of the coolest things that can happen to a parent. I hadn't thought of it like that. I guess I have a ways to go. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. All right, let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. I noticed this clipping. Local micro celebrity declared cool as hell. Very attractive. KRCT, an independent radio station operated out of the Rocky Mountain Record Traders in Sleepy Haven Springs, has received an unexpected boost in listenership thanks to the addition of self-styled radio psychic Steph Greencrunch founded in 1994. The station struggled to bring in new listeners for years, but Greencrunch, who says she stumbled into radio prognostication on a total whim, has changed that. People like it when you let them play in the fantasy a little, says Greencrunch. KRCT listener retention rates are up 20% since the new DJ's tenure more to offer than the Black Lantern jukebox, but barely. Bit of a learning curve, but we got this. Yeah, we're up to 60 listeners. There we go. 
I'm sitting in a booth talking to myself about pride. Cut off from the outside world is an understatement, but this was a sweet message. Hi, Steph. Longtime listener here. I wanted to commend you for talking about pride and LGBT history on the air. It's a topic that I'm regrettably less familiar with than I'd like to be. This town can feel a bit cut off from the outside world at times, so hearing from new voices like yours is a breath of fresh air. Best wishes, Edna. Let's go to the bottom. Okay, from Steph to... I already forgot how to pronounce it. Kate Casa? Subject back room. Want to drop you a line and ask about that back room? It's crazy packed. I was thinking about clearing it out. Anything I should be aware of? Stuff. Stuff. First of all, little birdie told me about your psychic stick. What a bit. Wish I'd thought of that one when I was manning the booth. You ought to think about charging by the minute like the pros. As for the storage room, you have my blessings and my condolences. God knows what's back there. It used to be something of a mausoleum where I'd bury a product I was too embarrassed to show. That was back when I was still capable of embarrassment, of course. Waking up with your teeth in a glass on your nightstand is a way of changing a lady. Let me know how it goes. It's on our phone. I've gotten exactly zero smolder matches in the past two weeks. Yet here I am, glancing at my phone again. Gay punk, all other punk. Let's accept... I, I almost want to accept all of them just to see what they say. Oh, cat, Boulder, Colorado. This user hasn't entered a tagline yet. How mysterious. Pickle, Denver, Colorado. Butch comedian with bad hair and worse jokes. Cal. Man, I don't know. <laughs> oh, she looks awesome. I'll heal for you if you tank for me. I love her. Oh, message. Oh, what do I do? Start the conversation. Hmm. What kind of opener do I want to use? Uh, you didn't give me an option. Heads up, I'm all for theater girls. Simple high. Digging the sword. Heads up, I fall for theater girls. Just like FYI, I have a history of falling hard for theater girls. You've got a lot of power coming into this exchange. I'll try to use it responsibly. Will you, though? LOL. Shot in the dark, but do you play TTRPGs? Absolutely. Yes, I do. I used to be really into kingdoms and caverns, good old-fashioned elf and wizard stuff. You know, it's a classic for a reason. Bingo. But used to? It's been a minute since I played. Oh, bummer. Think you'll ever get back into it? If the opportunity arises, well, hey, if you ever need a playmate, I'm your girl. That, um, I didn't mean like, <laughs> oh god. Shit, I didn't mean it in like a sexy way. Rib her a little. Steph would. You didn't, you sure? <laughs> yes. I mean, not that I don't think you're pretty. I do. I just mean... I wasn't trying to, like, reassure her stuff. Shit, you're flustered as fuck. I'm sorry, I was just messing with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, that's cool. So, Haven Springs, kind of out in the boonies, huh? Population's only, like, 1,100? You know more about Haven Springs than I do. It's called the internet. Sorry, it's a bit habit of mine. I go down rabbit holes. How many open browser tabs? So without checking, do you know if you have more than 10 open browser tabs? Oh god, call it out. It's probably more like 50. Do you hate that? I know it's weird. No, weird is good. If anything, not weird is a deal breaker for me. Oh, okay. Lucky me. It's not even the full extent of my weird. Okay, so back to Haven Springs. Have you thought about maybe moving to Denver? No offense. Dude, I was gonna. But I lost a bet. LOL, what? No joke, I lost a bet with my buddy Gabe, so I stayed. I literally don't know how to respond to that. You should at least come visit, you think? Absolutely. Denver isn't perfect, but I think you'll have a good time, and I'd be excited to meet you.
Uh, visit Haven or agree to visit her? I'm inclined to visit her. What's your schedule like? Really? That's rad. Okay, um, I mean, I'm free most weekends? Oh, shit, except I'm sort of in this play right now. We open this weekend and run for the next three weeks. I'll come to your play then. Can you get me a comp ticket? You want to see the play? You got a thing for theater, remember? Oh my god, let me check in with the director and put your name on the list. Sit, can't wait. Me neither. Oh, that's so adorable. What does ghost mean? Are you sure you want to ghost this user? Confirm? <laughs> you don't want to talk to that person anymore? What's this? Oh, that's her profile. I'm a big bisexual dork. Unrepentant theater kid, podcast enthusiast, gigantic tabletop gaming fan. Really kind of introverted, so can you please give me more to work with than hey, thanks. Okay. Callie, here to get to know people and make new friends. We're just gonna like, I, we're just gonna like them all today. See if anything weird happens. Not long for this continent. Sure. I'm told I smell like a new book. Okay. Oh, message. Do I want to kick things off or leave it to them? Leave it to them. We we're already ta oh, we're already talking to the other girl. Bike trash for bike trash. Hit me up if you ride. That's that one. <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. Do you want to get to know each other with a round of Mary Bonk Kill? Sure. Dracula, Frankenstein, or Wolfman, or Wolf Person, if you prefer. Let's presume all three are whatever gender you want them to be. Huh. What would Steph. Would Steph marry Dracula? Who would she kill? Let's marry Dracula? No, let's marry the Wolf Person. fuzzy. <laughs> uh, boink Dracula, because Dracula. And the whole vampire sexy thing. So love them and leave them situation. I'm only in it for the immortality, which I guess means killing Frankenstein. I feel kind of bad now. Had to be done. I'd marry Frankenstein, boink wolf person, kill Dracula. I have no idea what this says about either of us. Me neither. It was fun to play. Eh, I'm good. We had good chemistry with the other person. Um, you've reached your swipe allotment for the day. Okay. Twenty. Who said playing games won't get you anywhere? <laughs> well, Steph has clearly used her DM skills. Let's see who we got this time. The Black Lantern again. Fourth of July pool tournament. Now selling popsicles. Bar crawl. Y'all selling popsicles and bar crawl. Let's do that one then. How many sponsors would it take to get some AC in here? Fourth of July tournament, popsicles, bar crawl. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer. So visit the Lantern and escape the heat with Air conditioning, new popsicles. New popsicles. The kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one. And if that's not enough to get you in the door... Pool tournament. The upcoming 4th of July pool tournament will... All are welcome to come, play, and lose money to Ducky. <laughs> Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Dang. 
and blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. More sticky dinos. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents Ooh. next week. Big moment. Dang. Big moment. Are your knees weak? Palms sweaty? I feel like I'm about to throw up. Yes. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, <laughs> that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. Alright, Steph. Who said playing games won't get you anywhere? So the D20 Ooh. tells you... Three? That's really not great. So three All right. tells you it's gonna go bad. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but... I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 predicts disaster. Dinner's disappointing. Dinner goes up in smoke. It's not an at one. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. Sorry to say, I don't see it going great. Not going great how? Surprise, surprise. Politics comes up. You manage to nip the conversation before it gets too far, but the mood is ruined. Ugh. They all said they'd be cool. What matters is the girl you're seeing is really cool about it. <laughs> you still really like her, and she still really likes you. I'm just... I'm tired of who I am making everything harder, you know? Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry for that. But being with her is worth all the trouble, right? God, it's so worth it. Hmm. Okay, I can do this. Thanks, Seth. Good luck. Thanks for calling. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it The Dateless Dating Advisor. Yeah. Uh. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Tassless. I know it's not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Answer at least two calls and read three ads. Ooh, we have more records? Scrounged up some great albums for KRCT Pride. I wish my personal collection was this lit. Play that. You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst roommate. Uh -huh. Oof, I've been there. I feel you. Thank you, but I am at the end of my rope here. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls, he even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. And the smells. I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything. But it's just like strawberry B.O. Uh, uh, okay. I get the picture. So why are you calling? So I've been planning to have like a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic. All right. Okay, give me a sec. I wonder if anyone calls back and is like, you were totally right. I love that she's a psychic with her D20. 16's a yeah. strong role. Home not feeling like home. That's a rough one. So can a house meeting really turn it around? 
16 is a strong dice check. Brothers and Filth, showdown for the ages. I don't know what Brothers and Filth means. And showdown for the ages doesn't sound good, but maybe it can still end good? I have seen into the blurry future. And? The house meeting doesn't go great. He only half listens to you and keeps texting the whole time. <laughs> click, clack, click, clack. A week later, you reach your breaking point. Oof. Oof. You hear him and the girl he brought home going at it all night long for the third time that week. Gross. Yep. From then on, it's full-on sonic warfare. Until one of you moves out, of course. But my powers only see so far. Got it. Guess I'll buy those noise-canceling headphones. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. There you go. It's what I do. Sound effects. Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. More to offer than the black lamp it of oh, a yeah, learning we'll curve, that. but we got this. Still got ads to do. Let's back up. <laughs> anything in the store we need to do. Oh, she fixed the Time vent. to deliver good music. From the storage room to the masses. Who's ball scoreboard? I'll catch up with you eventually, Jen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Four? Man, that game was something else. getting better. I might have to actually try this time. Try all you want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall. Ha ha! Frick, I don't like these controls. Well, whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Oh, dude. Gross. I said not to think about it. Goo goo ga ga stuff. Shut up, Gabe. Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. <laughs> Where, Steph? Gabe. Where'd you go, damn it? I haven't developed object permanence yet. So, how's the fake psychic gig? Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. My hands were sweaty. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. There we go. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't want to jinx it. Dead foosball player. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. Oh, the storage room. Haven't been in there much. It's such a mess. Valuable. Reach your swipe allotment. Yes, I know. Oh, we got responses. Fiona's the one we're going out. Um, sorry, Colby. I uh, I want to clear out my inbox and uh, didn't feel a connection. Sorry, Violet. Pop quiz: best video nasties album. What does it mean?
Gonna sound super pretentious, but they recorded a seven inch black before they signed to Coffin Lid. Shit rips. Lies and bad intentions? Nah, but good pull. It's not a super dumb name. Don't shoot the messenger. The monster is kind of also named Frankenstein if you think about it. Super dumb name, but accurate. Okay. What do you do? I'm gonna ask you a really boring question. Feel free to answer it in a not boring way. What do you do? Like, in the burning passion sense or in the fuck I gotta pay rent sense? Your call. Barista by day, video collage artist by night. That's cool. Thanks. Your turn. Hmm, by day... I'm a radio DJ. Wow, that's cool. I mean, we have a broadcast reach of about six blocks, but I enjoy it, and by night... We haven't been drumming much. Uh, no idea. I used to play a lot of Kingdoms and Caverns. Allow me to totally embarrass myself by admitting I don't know what that is. No, don't be embarrassed. It's a tabletop role king playing game. What, with the dice? Among other things, you should teach me how to play sometime. I'll have to relearn it myself first. Gosh, you're super fun to talk to. Shit, I'm doing that thing I do again. What thing? How often do you find yourself doing it? Developing an unreasonable, powerful crush on someone within minutes of meeting them, and literally all the time. I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up. You're not the first person I've done this with. It's a thing. If you can't hang with that, I absolutely get it. Just let me know. I'll try to dial it back. It's fine. Steph would be into it. Aren't super intense crushes kind of the point of this app? You sure? I don't want to scare you off. Crush away. Party A hereby consents to be crushed upon to whatever degree of intensity Party B deems appropriate. Okay, where were you at the Denver Pride this year? I don't drive and I work all the time, so I missed it. How was it? Good fun, but not like that fun. Definitely overrated. Didn't miss anything. Oh. Okay. She's being sarcastic. I really want to know. Give it to me straight. You make the obvious joke or should I? Well, give it to me gay then. <laughs> LOL. I mean, you know, pride is pride. The parts that rule, rule. The parts that suck, suck. Tell me the parts that sucked. I could probably guess what sucked, but tell me anyway. The usual, you know, overpriced beer, sunburn, the no weed rule, car companies suddenly pretending to care about queer folks, same stuff that sucks every year. Still was nice, you know. Sounds nice. I should probably get Ready for work. It's been super cool getting to know you. Too bad you live so far away. It's like, what, two hours from here to Haven Springs? I really like the other girl, honestly. I, I, I'm feeling it with the theater kid. Yeah, that's a trek. If you're ever in my neck of the woods, hit me up. Yeah, same. It's a nice conversation. Janice. Oh no, a cat lover. Dogs for life. We're mortal enemies now. It's our own cats. Cats are dope. They're moody, temperamental. They're just all waiting for us to die so they can eat our faces. You're right. <laughs> our peoples are at war. What's with the snake? Oh, that. I was in Bali. The guy was... Charging for pictures with a snake. It was a pretty snake, so. No argument for me. Definitely an extremely pretty snake, right? Her name was Demi. Like Demi Moore? Aw. Crap, gotta run. Have a hair appointment in like 20 minutes. See you around. Hearts. It was nice talking to you. Wave. Yo, what's up? What's your favorite kind of music? Indie rock. Achingly sincere indie rock. The kind of dang man, maybe go to therapy variety. You don't know if you think it to look me, but I love 60s bubblegum pop. Can confirm, would not think it to look at you, but that's kind of rad. What do you like about it? It's super simple, great hooks, perfect structure, everything a pop song's supposed to be. Yeah, I get it. 
Can absolutely see the appeal. Hell yeah. I'm gonna hop off this app for a minute. Stuff to do. Good talking to you. Likewise, be good out there. Never? Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely like Fiona. Can I message her? No. We said we'd go to her thing. We got texts. Greengridge. Uh, now we have each other's numbers. I'm glad you're part of the gang. Nice to feel like I'm not third wheeling it with Gabe and Char. Or we're both third wheeling it with Gabe and Char. Damn, if only there were a word for another third wheel. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's fucking snowing? Yes, it was 90 degrees yesterday. Colorado, baby! I hate it. Give it 24 hours. So wait, explain this ending to me. Machine cult? Yeah, dude, this movie makes no sense. Oh, well, mean but true. That's what's dope about it. No, but the dude, like, he feeds the baby to the machine? Why? He spent the whole movie trying to protect the damn baby. I don't know, dude. It's like a metaphor. For what? It's not like one-to-one. -one. It's tonal. It's about letting go of the things that you used to define yourself. It sucks, though. LOL. Don't you like any normal movies? Not really. <laughs> Is kiddo with his dad? Yep, just saw them off. How are you feeling? I'm okay. It gets a little lonely when Ethan's with Liam, but it's only a month. I'll survive. Hell yes, you will. You're a total champion. But in the meantime, if you need a drinking buddy to pass the time, I can provide that service. You're a hero Thursday? Sick. What's your poison? Wine, red, cheap, but not too cheap. Girl after my own heart. <laughs> Jed just called it the Google. That's not what it said on the Google. Babe, are you going to text us every time Jed has a boomer moment? In fairness, he deserves it. LOL. Just let me hop on the old Google there. Best mustache wax send. No, no. Dad's a loyal captain. Mistress's Luxie prom promade man. Is that real? There's no way. It's real. Google it. Sorry, the Google it. LOL. What the hell? This is magical. Okay, so wait, am I losing it? I mean, you're dating me, so shut up, babe. This guy just popped into my commissions inbox. Uh-oh. Wait, why uh-oh? Trust me, this story is going to warrant an uh-oh. Charlotte, he's like, I want a portrait done of me and my wife. And I'm like, of course, can you provide me with a picture of the two of you? And he says, oh no, I'm not married yet. So I'm like, that's fine. Send me a pic of you and your fiance. And he says, I don't have a fiance. Now I'm starting to get like vibes, like super weird vibes. Uh, I told you. And I said, then, okay. So, okay, then dude's like, but I know what my future wife will look like. I saw her in a dream. No, holy shit. Okay, but it gets weirder. Then he's like, I think 50 is a fair price. And I tell him, no, I'm sorry. But for a full color portrait, my fee's 200. Oh God, I see where this is going. And this dude, he says, oh no, I meant I think 50 is a fair price for you to pay me for letting you know about my visions of the future. Ah, oh, gee, sure, that's, wow, called it, fucking called it. I feel like I'm going insane. So, are you gonna pay him the 50 bucks you owe him? <laughs> Game. <laughs> People in their weird shit. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Consider giving a like or leaving a comment. The YouTube algorithm favors engagement, so doing one or both of those things really helps the channel. There's social media links in the description and a link to my tip jar if you're interested in helping out that way. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the next one.